What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Oh, 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 it doesn't even know what it's called. What's it called? What's it called? <laughs> nice, dude. We're doing mouth trumpets. That's not bad. Wait, what was that one? I know that one. That was oh. Baker Street. Yeah. <laughs> I, for some reason, am pretty accomplished at mouth trumpet. It's really good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's hot damn yeah. somewhere in the city, Yeah, right? totally. Does but he say hot damn? Yeah. <laughs> he, says, he says, eat shit somewhere in the city. <laughs> Suck my butt and it, it you know. <laughs> you know the lyrics. Hold Eat down. shit summer in the city. Suck my button and twist my titty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. They had to censor it for the radio because you couldn't say eat shit on the radio back then <laughs> like you can now. Ever since Everlast got on the radio, everything's been a lot different, you know. Uh. <laughs> Eat shit summer in the city. <laughs> Suck on my button and twist my titty. <laughs> no, but I'm oh, I'm I'm way better at um uh mouth trumpet when it's slower and when I can Right. So nice what was the one I was doing before? That's really oh, good. Thank you. It sounds like a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> You're even doing like a soulful thing with your eye. You're like Well, <laughs> What's the what's the gassy feet have got no rhythm song? <laughs> day. We got sound effects now. Yeah, we're really excited. We're recording it. this the day after we recorded our or or did our first ever Twitch stream where we hate watched uh, the Bill Maher movie Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death, and I feel like it was a resounding success. It was. I people have been tweeting at us about it, yeah. saying it made them feel like they had friends, and it was a fun way to process Bill Maher's shittiness. And yeah. uh, I really enjoyed it. We're gonna do more hate watches. You know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna do more love watches. We talked mm. about how that would be equally as fun watching and making fun of a movie we like. Right. So we're going to do The Departed? Yes. <laughs> At some point. That's on Amazon Prime, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. It, it just, better be. Yeah, if it's we not. We should do also movies that people have always wanted to watch. Like, if you've never seen Citizen Kane, you can watch it with us. Oh, you know? that's. You've a... never gotten around to watch it, Citizen Kane, have you? Well, you're going to watch it with us. Can I tell you something? I am one of those people. I have never seen Citizen Kane. Well, let me tell you something. It's good. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> I would love that, dude. That's such a good point, too. There are so many movies that you hear about them, and there's, like, a window. And the window is really from, like, when you're a kid up to college. Mm -hmm. And then w to, to see these movies that are, like, famously great, but everyone else has the seen. The Godfather. Yeah, The Godfather. I Luckily, I saw all The Godfathers when I was in high school. But, the yeah. The third one? Well, no, I didn't watch the third one. I, I can't make it through it. I've tried, and it's so bad. It's yeah. worse than you even think it could possibly be. Yeah, 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 totally. <sighs> um, yeah, most of the time I say I've watched all of something. I don't mean that. Like, most movies I've seen, I haven't really seen much of the movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like I, looking into the distance and it's stuff. It's hard to... Poke <laughs> 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 it's hard to focus on some plots, man. I don't know totally. what it is. but uh, Especially about Italians. Yeah, Italians... <laughs> Italians are talking, and they're like, uh, you know, I'm going to murder my cousin, but all I'm hearing is... Do the, do the uh, anxious fart. That's Oh, sorry, that was dry fart. This is perfect fart. Dry fart, anxious fart. <laughs> anxious gets me every time. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I can't remember what it sounds like until I hear it. <laughs> It's so, yeah, no, I downloaded these fart sounds. I have a ton of them, by the way. I got way more than three on my hard drive, but I picked my three favorites to drop onto my little uh, uh, number pad soundboard. It's the same one Kanye West made Don Don. Gunshot? Yeah. Anxious gunshot. That was me having such bad IBS that I ended it all. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> when you're so constipated, you gotta shoot your butt. 
<laughs> should we showcase? Should we save a few, or should we showcase them all? What the hell? Oh, wow! <laughs> Why don't you burn in hell? <laughs> it's too much fun. Oh boy! I love sound effects. Me too. You know how I feel about sound effects? Oh. I wish I could fuck my computer. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back. <laughs> Dave's gonna fuck his computer after the break. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, I can't. <laughs> Somebody's like <laughs> on the bus on the way to work right now. <laughs> And they're like making, and someone else is looking at them on the bus, like, what could they possibly be listening to? Yeah. Yeah. Or someone's like mad at them. That's what I like to imagine. Someone's like, hey, like uh, they accidentally step on someone's foot on the bus. Right. And the person's like, hey, you fucking piece of shit. Don't fucking touch me and don't hurt me on the bus. But they're just looking at him and they can't hear him because in their ears is. <laughs> and the guy's just fucking screaming and they're like, man, I wonder what he's yelling about. <laughs> No, no matter how mad you are at me, if I hear that, the world's fine. Yeah, you know? totally. I could be in court being sentenced to death, and I'm looking at the judge, and if that's playing, <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> we sentence you to the maximum possible sentence. Life without parole in a maximum security prison. You know what, actually? Is there room for two? I think you're innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, love. I, I hope somebody also is like they're 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 listening with their windows down in their SUV and they're at a stoplight in a busy part of town, and uh, the person next to them has their windows open too, and they look over and 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 uh, you're like, oh, this is just a fun podcast where people are chatting, and the next thing you know, the gun starts going off right near, <laughs> <laughs> right, and they're just like, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> they like thirteen in a row, or just like it sounds like people talking, but then a, in, uh, just a faint sound in the distance, they start hearing. <laughs> I would love for somebody to be playing this loud. Like, I am not for people listening to things without headphones ever. Yes. But it is funny to me if you're around a big group of people and it's just farts and gunshots coming out of your phone. You're just at the airport waiting on your flight, and it's kind of quiet, and you just start listening full volume on your phone. Yeah, dude, totally. So everyone around you is like, what happened to their phone? <laughs> I want to have a podcast that sounds so cacophonous. They're like, what's wrong with their phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what we want. Everyone, ma Everyone's mad at you, and then you're like, whoa. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And then you get out of there, you know? Whoa, man, I'm sorry I played so many sound effects. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> but then you can't you can't get out of there, you know? You get stopped by the rope because you're in a rope line and it's like, whoa, I can't get out of here. Could you do that with your mouth? That's not exactly the same. It's not a no it did. Yes, didn't. it did. No. Tweet at us if you think which one sounds real. <laughs> I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. That's from The Departed. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> you know, all these Italian How movies. How crazy is it that uh, The Godfather isn't made by Martin Scorsese? I bet most people think it was. Almost everyone on Earth, on Earth think it was. Right. Yeah. I bet they don't think there's gangster movies not made by him. Absolutely. I bet they think he made Lucky Number Slevin. And Donnie Brasco isn't it and Carlito's Way. Isn't it, by the way, insane that he made The Irishman? Is that crazy to only me? Oh, it's crazy. Because, like, it's the same movie as a lot of his movies, and I'm sure some people disagree. I know it got nominated for Best Picture, and I was just like, this movie is... This movie has been made before. All of these characters have been in other movies before. Your Goodfellas, your Godfathers, your fucking, yeah, your Bronx stories, whatever. And nothing new is happening. I thought there might be a different twist, and then there's not. I couldn't disagree more, Dave. Oh, really? I think the Irishman, I, I, do, I do think the effects are distracting. 
Uh huh. It is too long. Uh huh. But I think the ending is so insanely, intensely sad and oh, so depressing that I think it's. Uh, I think it was so. I thought it was that ending. No spoiler alert. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I just say something real quick? I do need to um, confide in you that I I did not finish the movie. So. <laughs> so oh well, do, do you gotta finish it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's it to me. <laughs> It's very important you finish that one. Okay. It's too long and the effects are distracting, but I think it's worth it for the ending. Here's the thing, though, man. Uh, the movie sucks. So well, have you considered that? I d- be that as it may. <laughs> it doesn't suck if you see Four the stars from old Sea Dog. <laughs> no, sure. No, I think um, the ending is incredible. Okay, I'll watch it. Yeah, I think it's I think it's worth it for that because I did the same thing. I watched half of it and shit on it. Yeah. And then uh, my weekly book club... Mm-hmm. Uh, we were ranking Scorsese movies, so I was like, "What the hell? I'll finish it." And then I finished it. And was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe that!" Really? It's well, it's real. It's worth it for the ending. Power through, and uh, oh I was god. I thought it was, the beginning was boring, and it is. But I think the the ending is a payoff. I do do this with movies. Like yeah. I don't. When I was younger, I didn't do it. It's like a, a an attention span problem in my adult life. Uh, the having the phone in my hand and also being way more tired and having a lot of things to do. I like, and I also watch shit to fall asleep to because I like. Uh, I mean, you know how it is. If I don't have something playing while I'm falling asleep, then I have my thoughts, and they keep me up because they're terrifying. Right. And if you think the Irishman is bad, where do you get a load of these thoughts? Yeah, totally, man. Man, that, those effects are even worse. They're not Irish in the least. <laughs> um, <laughs> my thoughts are really Irish. They're like drink, right? Fight, God. Don't tell your wife you love her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just suppress the feel, suppress your feelings. Burn your hand over a candle and uh, shoot some Catholics. <laughs> <laughs> shoot Catholics. I used to have a bit that uh, everyone hated, uh, where you know people say, "Oh, when JFK got shot, that's when we lost our innocence." Uh-huh. And my bit was like, oh, yeah, it wasn't slavery. It was uh, when that rich Catholic got shot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, That's a good point, Oh, boy, though. you know who didn't like that bit? One crowd. <laughs> Not one crowd. Yeah, dude. I mean, sure, that's a lot to bring up. But I also yeah. agree that that saying is that's when we lost our fucking innocence. Yeah. Oh, it was in 1967, yeah. wasn't it? I feel like a lot Black of... people still <laughs> couldn't vote yet. <laughs> Still had it was still women couldn't own a credit card or a house. And right, they were like we just lost our innocence. Today. Everything was good. <laughs> Man, it sucked that he died because everything was good. Yeah, it was so good. Man, that's why yeah. we liked him too because he was just he was there to reinforce how good everything was. Right, so rent was still due while JFK was president. It wasn't like Nirvana. You woke up. And everyone was mad and poor. He was a liberal president that was trying to make the country better. Like, everything sucked ass. Yeah, it That's why bad. they liked him. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was trying to help. You imagine, <laughs> I imagine being anything other than a white dude, and he's like, let's go to the moon. And they're like, I'd like to vote. We're going to the moon by the end of the... <laughs> that, you know that poem, Whitey's on the Moon, right? Yeah, it's yeah, incredible. It's, it's incredible. And it's like a thing I really wish I had heard when I was young. Yeah. Because uh, I, you know, I like uh, grew up in the suburbs in a predominantly white area. And that perspective hadn't been, it just hadn't been said to me. And when I heard it, I was like, oh, yeah, duh. Right. And women. And, wh- and Whitey's on the just, moon. Women are just like, oh, the moon, huh? Yeah. You and your friends had to go to the moon. I'm here with the kids all week. Right. You're going to the moon again. Great. What'd you find? What'd you find? You play golf up there? Right. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah, I can't even get my name on this house. Great. This is so fun. <laughs> Have fun up there, honey. That's so no funny. women allowed. <laughs> no women on the no moon. No women on the moon just for men. It is so crazy. I've thought I've always thought everything around the moon was so funny because even then, like even if you don't like that was just how everything was. Mm-hmm. So it was de facto that, which is insane unto itself. Only white men on the moon is like the fucking craziest shit ever. But then on top of that. They also, it was also an argument between whether or not it was Russia or America who got the moon. 
We couldn't even agree that the moon was everyone's. No. We were like, oh, man, we got to get the moon. <laughs> well, if the moon's communist, Dave, then how are we going to... Totally. How are we going to make money on the moon? We right. need the moon to create profit. The moon can't be for people. The moon's no. got to be for the market. The market decides <laughs> uh, what happens on the Sea of Tranquility. But, okay, would you rather it be the American flag on the moon or, like, the Amazon logo? Like, it's a big Amazon banner. Amazon logo, any fucking It's a QR banner. code. <laughs> Absolutely. The whole <laughs> thing. Jeff you hold Bezos your phone up in the sky. <laughs> yeah. You hold... Dude, you put the moon in your fucking <laughs> camera app and uh, an Amazon.com comes up. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. That'd be incredible. Yeah, and you need, like, Amazon's now for everyone who... It's <laughs> night. <laughs> if it's nighttime, you can get Amazon. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I want that so bad. Honestly, fuck it. Well, Capitalism I, I is tell. killing all of us. I can't tell if it's, if it's better to have the American flag or the Amazon logo. They're both pretty bad. What would, what would be, be great? The good, yeah, what good would be one. good? Oh, boy. I'm glad that the, the Civil War, I'm glad the South lost the Civil War because if imagine oh. if the South got to the moon and Jesus. it was like, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Houston. <laughs> Houston, you put the damn stars bars up I there. I claim the moon for Dothan, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Or really just anyone who got to be more regional would be like, how funny would that be? Like, uh, yeah, like I'm happy to be the first person on the moon so I can say once and for all that the moon is part of Indiana. <laughs> like, what a fucking nightmare. Yeah, what would be good, though? Like, um, Well, if you've been to Indiana, you know it's, pr- it's similar to the moon. Right, totally. Yeah, you're like, yeah, not yeah. a lot going on. There's no one there. <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> it's hard to get there. Everyone who gets there <laughs> leaves and goes, oh, wow. Yeah. Glad I'm back. <laughs> Even to go there for a minute, it costs a ton of money. <laughs> it, I've actually always been blown away by if you drive through Indiana and Ohio, there are, it's a turnpike to, that takes you across, mm-hmm. and uh, the tolls are insane. It costs like 20 bucks to drive across those states. Oh, and it feels pretend. Indiana is <laughs> so flat, it feels fake. You're just like, come on. Right, totally. It's like an old racing game in 2D where you're just like, this is it, the whole for real. S- the whole state seems like a joke, yeah. I know. Uh, one of our biggest cities uh, is called Gary. And... <laughs> <laughs> And Gary is dangerous. It's like, w- did you make this up today? Oh, it's so funny, too, where it's like, y'all didn't get the memo. We're naming cities after last names. Gary. You fucking idiots. Right, dude. Welcome to Dave. Yeah, you don't make it Brian. <laughs> yeah, well, I grew up in Bobby, Ohio, but when I was 14, we moved to Daniel, Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my grandparents live in Amanda, Arkansas. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, first names are for hurricanes, you morons. Yeah, to- totally. Your- Aren't you glad we don't have states that are like Robert? <laughs> <laughs> that would be what a fucking nightmare. Welcome. Uh, well, I'm from Robert, and <laughs> she's from Michael. Man, things are so backwards in Rick. <laughs> <laughs> right. But then again, there are just so many cities named something insane. Yeah, but uh, not first names. It's not right. There's uh, YOLO, California. That's Is a real there? place. Oh, yeah, dude. Come on. Yeah, YOLO, California, dude. Get out of here. And then, of course, the most famous one is Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. That's just ridiculous. What and is this, the Coen Brothers movie? We're going to Truth or Consequences? I actually do think that Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, is a town that was called something else. But then they shot a movie there called Truth or Consequences, and they changed the name to Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. I was I was born in Sex, Lies, and Videotape. Wow. Isn't that cool? Man, I know that town. It's in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? It would be fun <laughs> to name your town my ass, too. My ass. Welcome to my, my ass. ass. Oh, people would love that. My ass, Mississippi. We already have your anus. Why not my ass, Mississippi? My ass, Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from my ass, Mississippi, Mississippi. <laughs> That's what I'm going to name my fucking town. <laughs> I do. Can right. I also tell you, you know this already. I haven't said it to uh, y'all listening yet. I'm zonked today. There was something about yesterday and then um, 
what goes into putting together a Twitch stream, which I haven't, which I haven't done in a minute. Uh, and I am knocked out. So I'm a little loopy today. You're loopy, but it's really funny. And, That's uh, what I'm hoping for. I yeah. was shooting for, uh, you know, you get it. Well, the rest, so I'm not going to say the rest of the sentence. We're working hard, but when we're tired, it helps somehow. Yes. We're loopier. Comedy's great that way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, totally. But it's wild that we're very busy with the silliest shit in the world. Right. Uh, I can't even believe it. Anyway. Oh, isn't that funny? Yeah, we did like a dumb Bill Maher hate watch yesterday, and now... I'm uh, tired during my nothing podcast. Where right. We, yeah, yeah. Where we rename eggs. It is a great life. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah. Next week, we're renaming eggs, everybody. Eggs. Then we got wood. Yeah, we're doing eggs and wood, <laughs> which um, we didn't pick because uh, they're a metaphor for dick and balls. We didn't. We didn't. I just now realized we're just that eggs things. and wood. <laughs> but no, we were trying to just pick boring nouns, and we came up with eggs and wood. After that, we're going to name the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, and then, of course, cum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eggs, and w- eggs, wood, and milk. <laughs> My God, I wish I could shrink into oblivion after saying that. Oh, man. Shrinking into oblivion does sound relaxing. Yeah, doesn't totally. It? One day. Yeah. It's fun to do nothing, but could you imagine being nothing? Mm. The only thing better than being nothing is having never been anything. You know? That sounds like Thoreau or something. I know, dude. Mm. This podcast, look at all, this is cold open, we've already covered the moon, yeah, Indiana, yeah. existence, most podcasts don't get any, get anywhere. Now let's get into it. How often do you take a shit and it hurts? <laughs> well, how do I know it's going to start if there's no, if it doesn't hurt? That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Uh, if there's no pain, are you even shitting? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I've just to the point now where, like, if I try to play a game on my iPhone and I'm not shitting, it feels we- not as good. You know, is I'm so used to, like, playing a little Plants vs. Zombies on the toilet. Do you? We both shit a lot. We're shitters. That's all I do. Yeah. Um, we got uh, IBS or something in the family. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, I, I got IBX. Oh. Yeah, dude. That's that's the streaming service. That's when you shit on your skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that is yeah. the most intense. Like you know, LAX. Like welcome to LAX. LAX. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> IBX. I yeah, got IBX. it's an airport full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you just flew to this pile of shit, man. You didn't drive here. You didn't walk here. You flew here. You flew to this toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> IBX. <laughs> Extreme bowels. <laughs> I don't have IBS. I got IBX. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Extreme bowel syndrome. <laughs> but that's XBS. Man. Uh, IBS is a funny disease, isn't it? Because to this day, it's just a blanket term for you shit weird all and all the time. Yeah, yeah. Doctors don't know what it is. And it's just like an anxiety disorder. Yeah, my my yeah. stomach hates food. Yeah, right. It needs it, and then it gets mad every time I put anything in there. I think know? IBS, really what it is, right, is just the human body is not designed to eat food made in a laboratory. And all of our food is like yeah. uh, chickens that were like raised in a cup. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> They just like put an egg in a cup and inseminated it, and then they turned the chicken into meat or whatever, or just fucking a chicken in a cup is true. That's it is. Wrong. It's, I mean, the way that we make food is fucking fucked up. I don't no. need to. No, I know it is. Look, man, I'm about to get on a real soapbox here. Get ready. Uh oh, get ready for a speech. Yeah, and the soap. Get box. ready to lay down. Yeah, we're gonna lay down, everybody. It's time for a fucking snow day. <laughs> um, what was I saying about shitting? I was going to say something about shitting, but um, I don't remember what it was. Yeah, well, we do it all the time. We'll think of something. Oh, yeah, we both shit all the time. Yeah. Ooh, this is what I was going to ask. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, get ready for a question. Um, do you do you ever shit so long your legs fall asleep? Not, not all the time, but at least once a month. It's yeah. one of those, you know. It happens to me more regularly than that. Yeah, that's our period. <laughs> 
Me, if you podcast totally. together long enough, me and Dave's feet <laughs> we, will fall asleep at the same time. <laughs> yeah, totally. In the toilet. But yeah. When Kayla and I first started doing this podcast, we shat at all different times. But now... Now it's kind of synced up. Every day at 1030 It's pretty great. Yeah, <laughs> dude. We hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> we sing when a man loves a woman to each other. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. Welcome to What's It Called? Welcome to What's It Called? My name is Dave Ross. My name is Caleb Sinan. And this is our podcast where uh, we don't know what it's called. No, we don't. Email us. What the hell is it called at gmail.com? Actually, you know what, dude? Next week, let's do listener emails. Hell we'll yeah. Do eggs after that. Dope. Yeah, yeah. Because we promised that, and it's been a while, and I uh, I don't know, and I'm, I miss it. I want to I wanna hear what people have been messaging us. We are going to uh, name the things that you asked us to name. And if you have more of those, um, whoa. Pardon me. Uh, email us and ask. And uh, we can't obviously can't do it every week or even every other week, but we do read all your emails. So message us. Also, if you have any requests of things you would like us to rename, let us know. Um, our email is what's it called dot rodeo. Oh, sorry, our website is what's it called dot rodeo. Mm. If you want links to listen to the show or watch the show on our YouTube channel or to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, also follow the show at what's it pod on Instagram and Twitter, and we have a Patreon, if you would like more of us, patreon.com slash what's it called. It's the best Patreon in the game. Everybody that signs up gets a shout out, and we have a new subscriber this week. What? Shout out to Dan Randall. What's up, dude? No way. Is he from across the pond? Dan Randall has signed up for five pounds a month. Wow. So either is across the pond or just likes that currency. Hey, uh, check out the English pound. <laughs> totally. It's great. You think Bitcoin's fun. The It's got a really weird symbol. Everything that I don't see every day is weird to me. And I don't know if pounds, are they more or less than here? More. Whoa, yes, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks, dude. Thank you. Thanks for the seven dollars. And uh, let us know what uh, what are you if you're from Britain or wherever uh, Wales. And let us know where you where and when you shit. Yeah, yeah. we need to know. And I, you know, I'm tired of people talking about your food. I, I've had a f- the food there; it's good. Uh, yeah, sure. It's fine. I don't even know if it's, yeah. it is or not, but I haven't. Uh... You never been to England? When I was a kid. Really? I was trying to do a bit, but then it sort of faded away, and <laughs> now I'm here. <laughs> Did the fart fire? I didn't hear it. Oh, no. Oh, our... God damn it. Oh, there perfect it fart. <laughs> That's a perfect fart. Oh, yeah. But thanks for everybody joining the Patreon. It's, uh, you know, you're helping us uh, live and yeah. eat uh, things and uh, and have a place, and it's great. Yeah. Thank you so much. We uh, we do a bonus episode there every week, video and audio. And there's also a tier where you get some of our merch. And uh, it's uh, socks and mugs. <laughs> so Hell yeah, dude. It's and they're pretty great. Stupid. They're great yeah. socks. Great mugs. Uh, this, we, this week we did an episode of WTF with Mark Marin, And uh, it is a genuine episode of WTF with Mark Marin, And you can't say it's not. That's true. I think we should be clear. It Mark Marin is not... On it. Yeah, and it's not an episode of WTF with Mark But Marin. it's us doing what we think it is. Yeah, we do say it is that, which is mostly just us talking shit about Mark Marin, and then I tell a story. Yeah, but it's the best, and so you should <laughs> check it out. It's really yeah, great. We're both a couple of Marins over here. <laughs> you ever wa- listen to Mark Marin and wish there was another one? You know? Yeah, totally. Double Marin time? Yeah, WTFFF with Mark and Mark. <laughs> yeah. Marky Mark Marin and the Funky Bunch. And uh, <laughs> it would be funny if t- time travel existed and Mark Marin went back in time to confront himself somehow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you're going to really suck in a while. <laughs> and you're like, wait. <laughs> wait, I meant you suck now. Fuck. That would be the greatest Christmas Eve. Like, uh, he's visited by three of himself. Dude, it's called 17 again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about Mark Marin being himself at 17 again, being like, oh, I got to redo. I got to oh, oh, make it better. Ah. Man. And just every time he hits on a girl and she says no, he's like, WTF <laughs> or whatever. Is that how he talks? Yeah, you know his, <laughs> his catchphrase. <laughs> you know his catchphrase. You remember when he was talking to Obama and he said, what the fuck? Did he really say that to... No, but in the Obama <laughs> episode, you notice he doesn't start with what the fuck, buddies, what the fucking ears, what the oh, fuckster. He, he just goes, hello, welcome to the show. Oh, my God. 
Welcome, hello. Wow. <laughs> it's really funny. If you go back and listen. That's so great. I think it's behind a paywall. Though. Oh, man. What a fucking... What a piece of shit. We're going to have him on the show <laughs> right <laughs> after day. we get Richard Karn. One day. God, Karn. Hit us up, dude. We would love to have you on the show, hell Richard yeah, Karn. Man. Uh, yeah, thank you all so much for listening to What's It Called? It's a loopy ep, and I'm down, man. We're loopy loopers. I love... I love being loopy. I love anything. I don't know, dude. It, I do anything that sort of like um, fucks with your inhibitions as far as comedy goes. As long as it doesn't fuck with your awareness of what's happening. I don't really like being drunk or high when I'm mm. stoned. If I'm in a totally safe, warm environment where I've like been there before and it's low pressure, I like to be drunk. Because it's just still like a little treat where I get to fuck around. And yeah, yeah. And I feel comfortable. But, uh, yeah, I like to be loopy. I like to be feel, like, uh, weird and, I love and free. It. Sometimes you know? I like to get hammered, go to a comedy show, and yell at the comedian on stage. Oh, really? It's fun. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I think that's... <laughs> I was going to uh, say. I think that's wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I think that's evil to do that. Oh, dude, I had this thought that I thought w- would interest you. So I was... I have been hate listening to this rapper Tom McDonald. Are you you're aware of this? McDonald's. Oh no, I played him for you. He's the oh, he's like the MAGA rapper. Yeah, the MAGA SoundCloud rapper. He's like yeah. taxes should be low. Yeah, totally. Trump is the Lord. Yeah, I- yeah. exactly. Uh, I just bought a new Fender. There are only two genders. It's just like <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. No, it's like so awful, and it's every horrible QAnon dumbass Republican talking point. That is just hateful. Uh, it's just so bad. But it's also like I just want to be clear. I would hate a Democrat rapper who was this yeah. like who was just like totally the Trans Pacific Partnership is the gold standard for trade. Like that I would even be hated fucked up too. That I said Republican right now because Republican isn't even really what his politics are. He is like he is like the embodiment of Twitter conservatism. That's what yes. it is. It's just like. Uh, he doesn't accept the existence of trans people. He doesn't believe in climate change. Doesn't believe in climate change. He hates immigrants. He thinks that uh, liberals should be thrown out of America. You know, shit like that. Like, just somebody <laughs> who who drank the Kool Aid fully of fucking right. you know Ben Shapiro and assholes like that. Um, so anyway. He said in one of his songs, he has all these videos and there's so much money behind what he does. And he has all these people listening to him because here's the thing. He's not the best, but he does have a flow. He doesn't completely suck at rapping. Right. Yeah. He can do it. And then you fucking he raps about this shit that's incendiary. And then he makes these videos that are him. And he has like tattoos all over his face and he has like braids in his hair. He looks like he's in corn. And uh, but then he's wearing uh, fatigues and rapping in front of a Humvee about how you should be kicked out of America if uh, you're not married or whatever his shit is. And it's so uh, weird to rap about how much you love America. Yeah. That's the most anti-hip-hop so thing lame, I can dude. imagine. It's so lame. It and just part of it, work. too, is that he claim, he's like... It's like a rock song about going to bed early. <laughs> like a guitar solo, and you're like, fucking... <laughs> totally. Eight and a half hours of fucking... <laughs> yeah. Fuck, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. I hate it. Um, I should meditate. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh man, <laughs> I was late for math class or whatever. Yeah, uh, it's like a folk song about Dubai. Like, no, <laughs> no. Wow. Partying in Dubai, like Tom Wakes is like, who's in Dubai? Candy yeah. tripping my nuts off. <laughs> Yeah, you're uh, you're not hardcore if you love Lee Greenwood. <laughs> I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. It's like not. <laughs> it's just yeah, not. That's it. basically what he's doing. You just um, need to accept your country singer, okay? Don't try to be something else. If you love this yeah. country, put on that cowboy hat. Right, exactly. And uh, anyway, in one of his songs, he. Um, God, I wish I remembered the rhyme. But he says this thing that you hear shithead conservatives say a lot. If you don't like America, I'll help you pack your bags. Right. 
and which I was, is kind. That's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, will they really? I wonder if anyone's ever taken them up on that. And that brings me a lot of joy to think about. And I just want to implore you listening, all of you, anytime anyone ever said, you don't lock it here, I'll help you pack your bags. Just be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man. Do you want yeah. to do your free tomorrow? By the way, have you ever helped someone pack their bags? It's an intimate yes. moment. Totally. And it takes a long time. Yeah. It takes a long time. You're like, do you have room for You know you can put your socks inside your shoes. Yeah, yeah. They're like, well, thank you. You're like, bring an extra pair of underwear from one more than each day right. that you need so that, uh, you know, in case you shit your pants. <laughs> you know? Right. Make sure to bring a jacket. Sometimes it's cold on the plane, so have one in your carry-on as well. Yeah, dude. I also... Uh, th- I think it's worth saying that I don't want you to help me pack my bags because I don't think you're good at packing bags. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> like yeah, if I saw you, your music video. You pack. You're gonna pack mostly flags in there. Yeah, one of the one of two things is gonna happen if you help me pack my bags. You're gonna pack it like you pack your bags, and there's gonna be like seven American flags and four AK-47s in there. <laughs> That's or like, you're going to pack your bag the way that you think liberals pack their bags, and you're just going to put a bunch of dildos and cum in there. Right. Which, uh, Which would, wouldn't be terrible, I guess, because that would be kind of funny. Yeah, put all <laughs> put everything in there. You just like go through security, and they're like, what's in here? And, and I'm like, I don't know. Check, check. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't get on the plane, but I did get TSA to dump a bunch of dildos and cum out on the fucking conveyor belt. That's pretty fun. <laughs> I want like American up. flag dildos and a <laughs> Joe Biden gun. Can you hook me up with that? Dude, you tweeted something today that really made me laugh. Um, if you think Let's Go Branded is funny, wait till you hear a real life curse word. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, these they're so delighted. Dude, I know. Like a third grader who learned how to say uh, duck my sick or something. <laughs> right. And it's like, come on. Yeah, dude. I get that it's whatever, but it's like, you know what I say? I say fuck Joe Biden. Yeah. Because I think he sucks. He sucks. But I'm not going to be like, let's go, Brandon. We're naughty. Like, like that is the least like badass thing in the world to be like, Ugh. it's like being like peanut butter, uh, dunk it when you stub your toe. Oh, beans and corn. Yeah, totally. What are you doing? It's so how funny is it that the same people that say, hey, shut the front door right. are also the people who bomb Syria. <laughs> how is that? i even when I was a little kid, I was like, wait, but you're you're in the army. You like shoot people with a gun. Why don't well, you say we had to because Osama bin Laden was a dunderhead. <laughs> And he really got he really got on my last nerve. Yeah, he really got. And I don't give a crap about yeah, the United Nations. I'm going to waterboard that scuzz bucket. They can all fly a kite as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally. I love my country more than a than a <laughs> rat loves nice ice cream. Yeah, man. I'm going to slit their fucking throat. They don't stop being a poopy head. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna waterboard these rascals, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, till they give us what we want. <laughs> Keep them in a cage, darn it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want our country filled with a bunch of so and so. Totally. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's like wow. Really, tell them you guys really was, are the party of uh, testosterone. That guy was a real son of a gun. <laughs> That's why I cut his toes off. Hitler was a real (laughs) good for nothing. (laughs) Please don't use any profanity when we're talking about this man who slaughtered an entire people. (laughs) Like, God. Get over it, dude. Cursing happens. I swear, man. I'm going to just to get back at conservatives. When I have kids, their first word is going to be, fuck you. <laughs> well, you need uh, to let it out because here's what <laughs> happens. If you bu- if you don't if you're saying let's go brand every time you want to say fuck, you know what happens? You storm a capital. All right? right. So cuss. Okay? Yeah, don't dude. hold it in. Get it out of your system, dude. Yeah, next thing you know, you got to you got to go to Cancun and hide with your family. Start cursing. It's also like you guys would probably like guns a little bit less if you had a, some premarital sex. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Premarital sex fucking rules. And uh, <laughs> and I don't know what other kind of sex you think you're gonna be. I don't know this postmarital sex you think is about to occur. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, they should just change well, the name of premarital sex to sex. <laughs> what are we What are we putting pre on there? Yeah, why for? is it premarital sex and then sex? It's <laughs> it should be sex. There's one thing, <laughs> right? <laughs> I've never had postmarital sex, <laughs> and no one else has either. Oh hey! Oh whoa whoa, whoa wait! wait. Hey, 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 hey. What are you a Republican? <laughs> My uh, I got plenty of friends now that are married, and they can all confirm that after you get married, you have sex also. And I do think that you know it changes uh, with the length of a relationship. Right. Irregardless, which isn't a word, regardless of how long of you being married or not, the length of your relationship, how close you get to a person, I think that affects how much sex you have or want to or don't want to have. Right. But when I was and and I say this because I just never want to be a guy that's like, damn marriage, you don't fuck because it's the most boring thing you could possibly say. It was the only thing comedians said from 1962 to 1992. It was well, the also, only bit. They were married comedians, so they were saying it 8,000 miles from their wife. And it's right. like, well, yeah, not you. Yeah, you're a fucking asshole. She doesn't live where you're at. You're like a broken person who became a comedian and didn't right. learn how to process conflict or have a healthy relationship or try to. So you're married to a person and you fucking hate each other and she doesn't want to have sex with you probably because you're mean. <laughs> so fuck you. I <laughs> What's so funny is it not like anytime there's a gay married couple, if they were like, ah, I don't have sex anymore, I'd go, well, you should get a divorce. Right. But with straight couples, some people are just like, <laughs> That's how it goes, man. Like that's no, it's not good. It shouldn't be that way. It's yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, you just figure it out. What the hell? So have some sex, everybody. I'm pretty sure my parents still have sex, and they should have gotten divorced decades ago. Yeah, probably. I mean, have you met them? No, but yeah. uh, I mean, I guess people. Uh, no one wants to think about it, but uh, some people must be having sex, right? Seems like they are. Yeah. When they're married? Yeah. Sure. I Maybe. mean, I would bet. Hey, if you're married. That a lot of older married <laughs> couples have a lot of sex. Because you get, I mean, the other thing. It's got to be great when you both lose your memory. Then it's like, seems new. <laughs> That's great. Where you're like, oh. Oh, who's I'm this? I'm starting to pick up a vibe from this woman. <laughs> she keeps coming in the house and she got a key. Wow. Whoa, she just came in my bedroom. Uh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> wow. This woman who looks like my kids keeps breaking into my house. She put a picture <laughs> of herself right next to the bed. Wow. Hmm. You look like if my son were old. An old? <laughs> she knows where everything is in the kitchen. I'm not telling her to leave. <laughs> hmm. Man, you seem like a woman who knows where my birth certificate is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might get lucky tonight. I got a good feeling. Man, you know all kinds of facts about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that's the other reason that it's confounding to say that, like, the stereotype that the, uh, there's no sex. when you, And don't get me wrong, I don't want to be a dick because I do know that a fair amount of people do have less and less sex in their marriage. And, 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 and I don't mean to talk shit about it. I know that that's well, hard. Your back starts hurting more every year. There's that. And your sex drive goes down. But also, some people do have difficult relationships. And I don't mean to say that that doesn't suck. It does suck. And it's not like a blame thing. It's not the man's fault or something. That shit's hard. I and get it. Some people are asexual and just want to have someone to, yeah. in their house with them. There's in that, In case too. they choke. And then some people like fall out of love or fall out of lust. And then some people actually do have a toxic relationship. But then also I fucking guarantee you that some people have more and more sex because, dude, I mean, like, I don't know about you, but when you get in a relationship, you you get to know each other more and more. You feel more and more comfortable. And like if you stay horny for a person, the sex has got to get like better because you understand each other. Right. That seems to make sense. <laughs> Right. You would think so, but I think I think you know at a certain point, uh, I guess maybe it just becomes less important. I don't know. Sure, I've never been old. I think both are true, but yeah. I assume that old people are, uh, you know, they're yeah. trying to get in bed by like ten o'clock, which sounds great. Yeah, man. 
You know, That's all right. I hope to be in bed by ten tonight. We have sex at four. <laughs> 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 well, that's why they're eating at four because they're like, well, if we have sex at we six have sex o'clock, at six. and I want time to process the food, and then I got to take medicine for three hours and then <laughs> go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. They wake up at like four in the morning. Food at four, people. sex at six, <laughs> TV at ten, <laughs> and that way your whole life is alliteration. You know, <laughs> nothing at nine. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Food at four, sex at ten, nothing at nine, TV at ten. I was trying to find a day and and before the year's over where I was going to do nothing, you mm-hmm. know, like no podcast, no email, like, and I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, sure. Because I got, I got, I really enjoyed nothing during lockdown. It's like, man, I, when am I going to have a nothing day again? Now that the world's coming back, it is frustrating that you you have to do stuff, dude. It's a, a never ending. It sucks. God. I got I jury duty stuff. in May. Do you really? Yeah. That was actually one of the things that COVID took away from me. I had delayed jury duty. I'd like gotten it rescheduled by like nine months. You mm-hmm. can do it once. And it was in May of 2020 and I didn't have to go because of quarantine. What? And then they never tried to get me back. Wow. I yeah. don't know if I'm going to be able to get out. I mean, I delayed it till May. You want me to uh, start another global pandemic? Dude, if you could, it yeah, helped. Dude, no problem. I, honestly, I, I'm, I'm more. I would be more stressed knowing jury duty's coming up than knowing I had the death penalty. Because <laughs> the governor can call <laughs> and get me out of the death penalty. Right. And at least the death penalty's one and done. But no one's coming to save you from jury duty. Yeah, you can't yeah. be so racist you get out of the death penalty. <laughs> but uh, well. If you go to jury duty and, and you gotta be racist to yeah. get out of it, yeah. If you say some racist stuff, you can't. They won't let you on the jury. Is this uh, is that what you're gonna do? Uh, <laughs> Caleb got canceled. Everybody. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I shouldn't be jury on the duty? jury. Yeah, I shouldn't. So I'm not a peer. Right. You know what I mean? Like you're either way better than me or way worse than me. I'm a comedian. You could say something insane that might like if they were like. What if I say, uh, is the is this guy a Democrat? Because if he is, he's a pedophile. Right. And then that's they'll go, good. he's off of the thing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's good. Yeah. And they're like, juror number nine. Yeah, just say something like really fucking insane. <laughs> Truly right. Like, juror number nine, what are your feelings on uh, uh, on what uh, uh, the defendant has done? Oh, I don't care what he did, but I do think everyone with a job should be killed. <laughs> <laughs> then I get arrested and I'm like, shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Um. Yeah, just tell him you want to kiss him. Okay. On the cheek. What if I just say a cab? Do you think they know what that means, or would <laughs> that be bad? Yeah. Well, it depends on how you say it. You could just scream a cab, but I don't think it would work if you were like, "I want to call a cab." <laughs> you know? That's what if pretty I funny. did one for judges? Like all judges are dicks. <laughs> A jab, A jab. All hey, ju- man, all judges are bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, A cab is funny because it's like not. It doesn't really roll off the tongue. No, and it's not my thought. When I I've had negative interactions with police, and my right. thought isn't that bastard. He's a bastard because I'm not. Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> totally. I go, shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that's what I say. I hate you. Oh. Yeah. No, I don't call anyone a bastard. Who have you ever called a bastard? Yes. I I say I that do. to my friend when he tips bad. Oh, you cheap bastard. Like I, That's not what I say to someone I'm actually mad at. Yeah, it's interesting. I wonder why. I've always wondered that, why they picked bastards and why it's bad a cab. At branding. It's very bad at branding. Yeah, yeah. It's you you got you to gotta do better than that. Well, even still, you would think that it would be a all cops are murderers or something. Right. Like that's the message they're trying to get across. All but cops bastard are, is almost rascally. That's not, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All cops don't know their dad? Like, what are you even saying? What are you saying? ACAD did. All, all cops are uh, down and dirty dogs. They you know could have I mean? said bad. <laughs> right. Same letter. All cops are bad. That's funny. Old bastard. This old bastard pulled me over again, old bastard. What are you doing? 
A Cal. All cops are losers. Yeah. <laughs> right. That would actually hurt. Totally. Like, oh, if I was a on, cop, dude. I'd go, don't say I'm a loser. You know, this wasn't my ideal, but, uh, you know, I, after high school, this seemed to be the only thing I could do in my town. I do mean to be a loser. Like, that would, I feel like that would make every cop, like, spiral. Like, damn, I, you hear what they're saying about us? <laughs> you don't think? I think it's cool. We all got a gun. They're out here saying we're losers. I'm not a loser. Trying my best. I'm going to shoot them. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, man, that's fun. All cops are losers. Right. They'd be like, hey. He's access. All cops (laughs) suck at sports. They're like, like, that is not true. Come on, dude. We play kickball every year. Oh, you should see the locker room at the the police station. We do so many (laughs) pull-ups. Man, our arms. A lot of us have big arms. All firemen. (laughs) Are sons of bitches. Like, whoa. <laughs> it should be something emasculating. All cops have little arms. That's no, what we no, should say. No. All cops have tiny little baby arms. <laughs> 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 well, what does that spell? All cops have tiny little baby arms. So that's A C H T L B A. Act blah. <laughs> Act blah. Act blah. All, cops All have senators t- have three nipples. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get these senators. Why do senators? <laughs> people all mad at cops? Well, senators are as bad as cops, at least. Yeah, man. All congressmen don't know what hummus is. Yeah. Yeah, we should try to come up with one that actually rolls off the... <laughs> Oh, boy. All cops are bastards. I I agree with you, dude. I do think that that's just very... Like, it doesn't help people get on your side. It does sort of... It looks good when you write it out. A-C-A-B. And I know what it is. Well, it's almost a let's go Brandon for the left. It's like, A-Cab. A-Cab, yeah. All cops are bastards. We should defund the police, (laughs) but I'm not going to say it all. I'm going to go A-Cab. Yeah. Every police officer is a poopy nose. Right. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> You're all poopy face, poopy noses. Yeah, and I want you to stop murdering people. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. no, that is what it is. We'll yeah. fix it. Mm, okay, we'll fix it. I do like all cops don't know what hummus is. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, all cops suck at sports. What was the other one? All cops borrow Netflix passwords. Dude, there it is. Okay. <laughs> we need one with more with some with more nouns in it so it's easier to say though. Like all cops are bastards. Uh like um All cops return your car without filling up a tank. You know what's funny? Is if it were aces, it could be all cops eat shit. Whoa, yeah. see? <laughs> Look, that's why you gotta come to us before you start a hashtag. Yeah, you should call us. We're great. With names, as we've already established, but also acronyms. Mm-hmm. Aces, dude. All cops eat shit. We'll rename your movement. We'll rename whatever you got. Yeah, dude. All cops suck ass. AXA. <laughs> See? AXA. Yeah, dude. Should we... What do we rename? What do we... Oh, we already shouted him out. We got to rename uh, 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 Denver. All cops titty ass. That's <laughs> ACTA. <laughs> ACTA. <laughs> Uh, or what if ACAB is just ass cops, ass bastards? Ass cops, ass bastard. <laughs> ass cops. <laughs> it started with Brian Regan. Ass, ass cops. cops, ass bastards. <laughs> Why don't you burn in hell? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, bruh. We are renaming Denver. Denver. Denver, um, Colorado. Here's the thing. This is one of the least responded to ones we've pitched out there. And you know what I think the reason is? It's just a guess. Mm. I think people don't really have negative feelings about Denver. And it's easiest to rename something that you want to talk shit about. That's my guess. Because I I similarly love Denver. I love Denver. I love going there. I have a lot of family there. The comedy is great there. It's beautiful. It's a place... Uh, filled with culture where the city is really interesting and the city cares about itself. So there's like museums and shit, but it's also surrounded by mountains. And I just, man, I just really it's like it. It's great, there. but we should call it Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Wouldn't it be great? You're like, I'm connecting in Chris. Yeah. And, uh, oh my God. You well, know, like, Chris just legalized weed and be like, yeah, of course he did. You know, if, if you want to get to Gary, you got to have a layover in Chris. <laughs> 
And I'm sure Denver has its problems that I'm not seeing right now. But for me, as a comedian dam- with a family there, damn, I love going there. But so for me, it's kind of hard to come up with names. How do you? How do well, you? I'm compliment- fascinated by Denver because uh, you know I grew up in the South. And yeah. then you go to Denver and there, there's like a guy with a cowboy hat on walking around. I'm like, what? <laughs> right. Well, it's like this. It's like the South of the West. Colorado and Oregon are like that. I mean, everywhere in America is the same in this way where like 10 feet outside of every major city. It is like the most horrifying redneck <laughs> wasteland you've ever been in your life. Yeah. But um, but. Uh, Oregon and Colorado are the worst of that. And I guess I shouldn't say horrifying because I love remote areas and I love traveling around America. But you know what I mean? It's like every city, uh, it's not a gradient. (laughs) You get one foot out of the city limits and it just is no longer blue. Right, yeah. It just isn't anymore. It's totally different. Um, And, dude, Portland, Oregon is crazy in that way. It's like fucking... Redneck as shit right outside. And that's why I'm always so blown away when they're like, why don't we cut off Oregon and, and Washington and California and get, make that the left coast? We don't even want. And I'm just like, Damn. you know, you would be best friends with everyone that lives outside of every city. Like, yeah, that's used there. Like, do you want to cut Atlanta out of Georgia? Like, what do you just want to have little dot country and then big? Co- like, what are you talking about? There's yeah, rednecks also, like, everywhere. Those are just also all the places where the football teams are, oh. and you love football. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with your rural just football. Shut the team. fuck up. <laughs> just shut the fuck up with your stupid bullshit about the coast. I say the same thing to people in the coast. Jerk offs who are like, "You went to Alabama," and and it's sort of like, and like, look, I'm not talking about. I, like, I know that it's complicated because there is racism and misogyny and shit. I'm yeah. talking I'm talking about even, like, a straight white male comedian <laughs> being like, I, oh, I could never. <laughs> and it's like, and even then it's complicated. There are black people there. There are women there. There are gay people there. And you know who are the fucking coolest people on earth are gay and trans comics in the South. Yeah. Those are people that are fucking really funny <laughs> who understand what the fuck is happening and make really interesting art about it. The most impressive people I've ever met are those people. And it also uh, pisses me off every year they go, fuck Georgia <laughs> and fuck South Carolina, fuck North Carolina. And As if it's not and then And then like November yeah. comes around, they're like, please, come on, yeah, exactly. Georgia. Come on, Georgia. We love you. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. You thought we were all cousin fuckers two weeks ago. And now you're like, come on, Georgia. Love my Georgia peeps. Help us with this election. It's just like, come on. There are all types of people everywhere, and some places have much worse history than others. But acting like you have to be in the coast for people to be cool there makes me want to fucking kill you. I hate it. And at the same time, if you're like, cut off California, uh, just I. uh, Yeah, it's a nice (laughs) state. It's a nice state. We got. The good national parks. God, man. Come see Yellowstone. We all are, you know? Yeah. No, I feel you. I think it's ridiculous. That's why we should call Denver a uh, shit town. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How about fuckville? Yeah, I think we should call Denver fuck Denver. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally like my favorite place. It's like hard to give it a new name. Totally. Totally. Ooh, uh... Well, yeah, uh, why don't we call Denver, I have mountains, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, just something that they have, but we say it like an asshole. Um, How about Sinver? <laughs> no. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sinver. <laughs> yeah. Mile high, dude. I guess it is. How do you rename a city? It's just hard, right? I did say that I would also uh, take terrible, horny puns. Denver. About Denver. And I had one, Mouth Park. Mouth Park? <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Mouth Park. But like, yeah. Denver Vagina. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, din. I think Din's a pretty good din, name. Just, just stop din. at Din. I think we should call it Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> What if we called it East Hollywood? Okay. <laughs> All right. Because it's east of Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
It is weird that what if it's we call like it a... South Canada. Ooh, yeah. I kind of like that. Yeah. South Canada. What if we call it Justin True Don't? <laughs> Y'all get it. What if we call it uh, Cold San Francisco? Hmm. How what about if we call it uh, Backpackrin? <laughs> it's like Akron. It's like Akron, but they're backpacking. Um, yeah. Is it really a mile high, or is that is that's not is that real? It is. Hmm. The funny thing about it being a mile high, though, is that so many cities are a mile high. Albuquerque is a mile high. Colorado Springs is higher. Salt Whoa. Lake is really fucking high. <laughs> but it, but it is out, hardest to breathe in Denver. I don't think so. Really? I mean, I guess you would know that about yourself, so I shouldn't have said that. But you know what I mean? Like, I think it might be that it's hard to breathe in those other places, and you just don't think about the fact that it's mile high that is making you do that. Mm. But maybe it is. Maybe the air is thinner there than in Albuquerque. I don't actually know. Well, I've never been to Albuquerque. But I do know it is hard to... You drink like half a beer in Denver and you're drunk. It's Totally. Weird. Dude, back when I was a cigarette smoker, the first thing I ever always did when I got off a plane was run the fuck outside and have a cigarette. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, that first cigarette in front of the Denver airport sucked. I would almost always pass out. What? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's okay, a good well, review. You should leave that as on the Denver airport Yelp. Yeah, totally. <laughs> One style always pass out oh, at this man. airport. This, this airport sucks. Why don't we call Denver the moon? Oh, okay. Because it's similar. In what way? It's hard to breathe. Hard to breathe. Uh, it's uh, really high. America owns it. Yeah, America owns it. <laughs> and it's really high. There's not a lot of laws up there. Yeah. You know? There's no women. No women. Uh, <laughs> Man, what a nightmare that would be. A city no with chicks no women. on the moon. <laughs> There's no chicks on the moon. Okay, what if we call Denver? Schittsburg. <laughs> yeah. You heard Denver. me. Denver. Yeah. I like uh, Chris. <laughs> Just Chris. Sure. Man, yeah, I'm coming up empty with Denver. I want... Um, Okay, let's uh, let's uh, talk about what the place is. It is a mile high, it and it's a, a place high. that is uh, uh, obsessed with working out, but also eating, which is always fucked with my head. Everyone there is tan, in shape, and drunk as hell. It's like <laughs> it's just not fair. You're you should be fat and feel bad. You shouldn't fucking climb a mountain and be able to be uh, drinking beer every day. Right, it's right. It's not fair. No, it isn't. It's a thin air diet, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. You so know, I've heard that theory shape? that uh, oxygen is a, the poison that kills you slowest. Okay. So that's why they look so good. So there's not much there. So they live long. Oh, okay. Yeah. That sounds true, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know much. <laughs> I don't know shit. I don't know shit. So I'll just believe whatever you say. Right. So they got a lot of beer. They got weed. Beer. Yeah, they do have legal weed. They had legal weed before anyone else. Mushrooms are legal. Uh, only in Denver. Not in Colorado. Just in Denver. Uh, or decriminalized, maybe. Mountains. Backpacking. So it's like people are in shape, drunk, uh, on mushrooms. Um, they all get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I think we should call Denver REI. <laughs> uh, I like hike. I, uh, I like hike. That's funny. REI. <laughs> yeah, dude. I like hike. <laughs> um, hikeology. Hikeology. Blech. Boo. Um, hike mountain. Yeah. Cold. Cold place. Cold city. High cold city. High, cold, drunk, high, and cold. The Denver Ooh, City. I like that. Uh, yeah, drunk, drunk, high, and cold. Uh, yeah, backpacking. Uh, back. Oh, damn it! I can't. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I got nothing. Dr uh, drinking. So we got truth or consequences. Maybe we should do that with Denver. Oh yeah. Okay. Drunk and backpacks. <laughs> <laughs> Beer and I, backpacks, Colorado. I like that. Drunken backpacks. <laughs> Drunken backpacks. Hell yeah, dude. That's my favorite so sure. far. Sure. Uh, yeah. Push ups in a tent. 
Um, the Joe Rogan of places. <laughs> yeah, totally. Except taller. <laughs> you know what? I stole that joke a little from Robin Tran, who is constantly tweeting that uh, Joe Rogan is 5'3 or 5'8 or whatever she's saying. Uh, so shout out to Robin Tran. You're so funny. You know what's interesting about how short Joe Rogan is? Is it looks like he used to be taller and something happened. Yeah, he looks squished. Yeah. Because he's a little wider. Yeah, totally. it's really funny looking. It looks like Joey Diaz pushed down on his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks like someone, ed- yeah, there's a portrait of him getting taller in his attic. Yeah, you know yeah. What, you know when you're on a comedy flyer and they kind of stretch out your headshot to fit? Right. Looks like that. they did that to him and his, like a voodoo doll. He actually did that. Yes, totally. They just stayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, he looks like shit. Yeah, yeah. let's fight him. Denver, I'm sorry, I'm letting you down. I, no, uh, beer and beer and backpacks. Beer and backpacks. I like pretty good. Beer and backpacks. Man, I love it. We got a bunch of suggestions from y'all though. Yeah, let's do this. Hell yeah! Thanks for tweeting at us. We love all the tweets. Uh, please, and we're tweeting it from the account now, so it's at What's It Pod on Twitter. Uh, so make sure to give that a follow uh, and check out if you want to play along. It's always really fun. Man, all these uh, suggestions are very similar to what we did. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Dude, where's my mountain bike? <laughs> and that's from at Dave and Caleb's mom. That's fun. Dude, where's my mountain bike? Ooh, I like uh, Tyler Olton said, mile high titty. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Daniel Farber, PhD, said, John Denver. <laughs> <laughs> At Preston Tompkins, who is a Denver comedian, said White Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I like White Wakanda. White That's Wakanda's funny. really good. Yeah. Um, oh, that's funny. At Demurist said, extremely high and incredibly high. <laughs> that's really funny. Um, at Seth Mills, the party peak, but also for a horny Denver, he said, smile, thigh, titty. <laughs> Nice, dude. Man, I don't know. Incredible, extremely high and incredibly high is really funny. Extremely high and incredibly high is funny. At Kick Acetron, extremely beer snob and incredibly snow tube. It's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, wow. Why is Denver so fucking hard to rename? I feel like. Well, they kind of nailed it, you know. Uh, yeah. But I, I don't know. Someone I, said White Veil. Who is that? Oh, at Tell Her Dog Hot. Tell Your Dog Hi. <laughs> wow, that's a great handle. Um, White Wakanda's pretty funny. It's got to be White Wakanda. Yeah, Preston you Tompkins. You're the Ricky shit of the week, Preston. Shout out, bruh. Hell yeah. We Thanks for you. playing along. That's a good joke, too. White Wakanda. White Wakanda. WW. Totally. All right, y'all. Hey, thanks for thanks for did it. tweeting in at us. We're gonna rename a bunch of your shit next time. So if you get any last minute suggestions, email us at what the hell is it called at gmail dot com. Absolutely. Uh, and join that Patreon. We we could use some help. We're trying to buy uh, some more water, guns, and water. guns, <laughs> water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, you know it's not cheap to ge- be caffeinated every time we do this. <laughs> well. All right. Good night. What's it called? What's it called?